Hi, I'm Ewan from IMB, and we're here today having a look at Marin's Alpine Trail. Now, recently we've heard a lot from Marin in the form of the Mount Vision, which is the latest and greatest bike to use a nailed reactor play suspension system. Now, that uses a pretty new and interesting system, um, but the Alpine Trail sticks to what Marin have been known for. It uses their multi-track system, which uses a single pivot and a rocker linkage, and packages it up with a 150 Alpine ready bike. Now Marin don't really tell you what their bike's for particularly. It's not an enduro bike, you know, it's not an XC bike, and their bikes are usually labelled somewhere on the frame. I think it's just down there. It says made for fun. And that's certainly something that Marin build into all their bikes. So what is the Alpine Trail for? Now Marin do already have a 160mm 29er in their range, the Wolf Ridge. Now that too uses the nailed suspension system. And for many people, you might be thinking, why do they need another one? But the bikes are, are pretty different. The Wolf Ridge is probably best described as a long-legged trail bike. So it might have 160 mil, but it's a fast pedaling, lighter weight machine. The Alpine Trail has 150 on the rear, paired with a, normally a 160 fork, is much more of an aggressive bike. It has a 65 degree head angle, it's low slung, and it's ready to attack some of the hardest trails you can find. Now, if that happens to be something you use for enduro, that's great, but Marin, they're more about making bikes that are fun rather than race ready. So what's special about this bike? This is the Alpine Trail 8. There is an Alpine Trail 7. What happened to numbers one to six, I don't know. The seven comes in at 2,200 and the eight at 3,000 pounds on the nose. And both represent like just a staggeringly good value for money. So what do I like about this bike? Well, the Alpine Trail is a ton of fun. It lives up to its name, it is made for fun. But with that, it gives a ton of confidence going into rough trails, steep trails. There's very little that this bike can't do. And it does it with style and energy. It's not the sort of bike that's gonna iron out all of the fun from the trails you're riding. It's not the longest, it's not the slackest. It's getting there but it still maintains almost a trail bike-like feel. You'll notice that I'm running a coil shock and it would be easy to think that a coil shock may just make the bike feel even more stuck to the ground, even plusher, yet the bike still retains its playfulness. Uh, it can hop over things, you can pull wheelies, you can do all the things that make biking fun, yet you can still point it down some horrendously steep ground and it will look after you. What about climbing back up? Now it's all well and good having a bike called the Alpine Trail. It's incredibly good going downhill. It's composed, it's confidence inspiring, all those things. But surprisingly, the Alpine Trail pedals really well. The multi-track system is simple. You can see how it works. But when you stamp on the pedals and you're spinning uphill, it stays remarkably calm. What that means is that it really is a bike you can use all day. It's got a nice steep seat angle which keeps your weight forward and it keeps, keeps the front end planted as you climb up some pretty steep stuff. So I've been really impressed with how it's been at those all day rides when you're in the saddle doing multiple climbs and multiple descents. So the Alpine Trail is Alpine by name, it's Alpine by nature. If you want an off the peg bike that's ready to take out to some really big terrain, either uplifting or pedal, this is definitely going to be a bike that should be on your radar. Given that the off the peg prices are really competitive too, Marin have certainly nailed it um, with the Alpine Trail. So I really love this bike. I've had it for a few months. I've used it as a test bed for loads of components. It's fun, it's fast, it's really engaging to ride and it's remarkably efficient for a bike of this travel. So what would I change? The Alpine Trail's got it pretty dialed. I wouldn't mind to see it a little bit longer for the likes of me, six foot, six foot four and above. You know, going over the 500 mil reach mark would be good. Especially on the Alpine Trail, as the head tube is reasonably short. Therefore, you can see on my bike, I'm running quite a few spaces and lifting the bars does reduce my reach slightly. If I wanted it to go even faster, I'd certainly consider extending the chainstays just a little bit. Those short chainstays do provide a ton of fun, but in terms of front to rear wheel balance, a little bit longer wouldn't go amiss. And finally, the seat tube angle, it is pretty steep already but I still think there's a way to go and just moving those a little bit steeper to keep you really forward on the steepest of climbs. 
So both the Alpine Trail 7 and 8 offer a brilliant spec at a great price. This Alpine Trail has obviously seen some upgrades. I've got a 170 fork in it, I've got a coil shock. This is now a really big bruiser of a bike. However, the 7 and 8 offer a really great platform for upgrading. Um, the components are great, but there's uh, a whole manner of things you could do with them and upgrade from those platforms if you want to. So overall, I've been really impressed with the Alpine Trail and I can highly recommend it to anyone looking for a bike that's really going to give them confidence and go and hit some really big terrain.